As we saw just a moment ago in the last segment, when you first open Premiere, the welcome screen opens up, giving you an option to start a new project, open an existing project, or go for help. Notice, incidentally, the shortcuts to recently used projects. We're going to select New Project, and the New Project dialog opens up. You have several available presets to choose from. Premiere chooses an NTSC format, standard. Here you have the description of the item. See if I switch it. Your description changes and your general information changes as well. You have drop-down menus next to the various items. So if you need PAL, for example, if you're going to be creating something for our friends in Australia, say, you would choose one of these. For here in the U.S., you want to stick with NTSC. If you're not sure which standard to choose, depending on the country you're producing for, you can very easily Google it, simply typing in television encoding systems, and you'll find this particular map showing you the different systems. NTSC you can see here in the U.S. You have PAL or PAL CCAM here in Australia, and you have CCAM here in other parts of the world, so you know exactly what format to use. Also notice here you have an option in case you're producing for mobile and devices. See here, if you're choosing for an iPod, you can select that specific item right here. Also notice a tab for custom settings. If you have a client, say, that has some very specific requirements for you, you can alter and change some of these items right here. Also notice, you can choose the location that you're saving it in. If it's not on the list here, you can browse and locate it. And give the file a name. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and click OK and save your work. Or you could cancel, and it brings you back to the welcome screen.